Hello everyone, how's it going? My name's Shelton, and this will probably be on the Angry Platypus channel. Uh, if you want, check me out. Uh, I have a couple of little quirky videos. I discovered a glitch where you launched from your bed. But anyway, I think I'm gonna... Oh, sounds off. That won't be... A little bit up. Alright. That should be good. So today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a world tour. I started this day, this world... I don't know... Probably three days ago. Three days. I haven't played it that much, but uh, it's pretty snazzy. Have a little bit of a reed farm going on up top. Uh, mainly my house and everything is underground. It's not really a house. It's kind of naturally made. I mean, it was a huge cave system, and I discovered some open areas, and I kind of adapted them. So this is what we're gonna do. I live in a swamp biome, but uh, if I can find it, one sec. Oh, right there. It's probably hard to see unless you watch in HD, which I'm probably not recording in. But that is a stronghold. That glass pillar. That glass pillar generated naturally. I don't know if that happens for all strongholds. Because I know I found another one. That one doesn't have the ender portal. I'm playing in 1.9 pre-release free. But 3, by the way. That does not have the ender portal. There's one way over there, I think, that has the ender portal. But anyway, I have a little boat over there. I'm planning on making a dock. Eh. Actually, probably somewhere over that direction, because there's a big ocean right there. But, alright, let's go underground. This is just a little dinky way of getting... I'm going to make a chute that takes you all the way down to the b below. Eh. Come to think of it, I'm going to put it on higher brightness. I know people bitch about having high brightness, but I really like it because it helps you play the game. So, anyway, basic setup here. Uh, this used to be, this area didn't exist. Like from here, where I'm standing, that way I had to build. And I'm still, it's still a work in progress. This I was destroying because I was working on that tree farm and I experimented putting it in a couple of different places. Uh, this is a staircase that goes down really far. This is one of the places I tried putting the tree farm. That's why there's that open area down there. Uh, I have my enchanting table and my enchanting setup. Uh, I have a lava light right here, but sneaky me put some glowstone back there so that it lights up the behind, but it doesn't actually show it. I'm really disappointed with not right now. The stair glitch with this, yeah, that is that is not preferable. This is... Just basic building blocks, stuff like that. Uh, this is just random shit. This is my goodies chest. This is, let me keep in mind, guys. This is 100 and jillion percent le legit. Like, this is all legit. I found this all in this series of cave systems. Like, uh, let me show you something real quick. This, all natural. One cave, two cave. Three cave, four cave, five cave right there, six cave, seven cave. So many cave systems out of this one little area. It's it's insane, and I love this area. Like, this is my home. It, the, there's an entrance to the surface right there. I have my furnaces. These are all the furnaces I have. They're all I need. Uh, my bed right here. I can't sleep. I have a little garbage disposal right there. And then this is my first wheat farm, and I pride myself on it quite a bit because this is strategically placed where it lights up every single one of these so that they can all grow, and with only one light source. And underneath all these are fences so that I can walk on them as much as I want, and it's never going to mess up, ever. So I'm going to move up here. I also put... Uh, Steel fences, steel, whatever you want to call them, steel panes, I, I don't even, I don't care. Iron bars, that's what they're called. Um, in front of these lava lights, I like the moving textures, I think it looks cool. Vibrates light, I don't know, I have some torches down here, because the underneath this is nothing, it's ground, so I have space there. This is my staircase down to the abyss, and I have a staircase up here. That leads off into this area, all naturally created, and then into a cave. 
I made this. I've been working on just cleaning stuff up, making it look better. I just knocked out this area. So yeah, this is my world. Uh, I decided I'd put half slabs right there to make it walking up. This is my brewing station. It's not completely finished. I need to knock this out and put red bricks here. Nether bricks. I have my water bottles. And then here I have my potions. I have lots of instant splash damage potions. And then I have a couple of speed potions, some strength potions, awkward potions, which just help you make more potions. More water bottles. And then here are all my... Uh, that is irrelevant. But here are all my potion creating tools and stuff like that. I have some more bottles, some blaze powder. I actually have a blaze farm in the nether that I'm going to show you. It's not really a farm, but you can stand there and get blaze rods. I have the nether ward. I have my gunpowder. That also doesn't belong there. I have some magma cream. I only have a couple of uh, slime balls. I, ha I used full... I used... Yeah, I used all four of them to make magma cream, and I used one of my magma creams to make these fire resistant potions. Uh, I have my brewing stands over here. I have my cauldrons all filled up with water. Cauldrons are really just for show because uh, they're relevant. Oh crap, that's not good. It needs to be there. Cauldrons are just for show because. You can just get infinite amounts of water out of one water block. Cauldrons are really just for show. Uh, I know you've probably seen pictures on the wiki of cauldrons with potions in them. I've experimented. I looked it up on the wiki. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think that that does anything. I have my tree. I have enchanting table. Sorry for that brief interruption. I was rudely interrupted by a parental figure. Not really. They just walked by and it was... A little bit awkward for a couple of seconds. But anyway, uh, this is my brewing station. I have some slow sand here. I tried to grow nether wart. It does not work in the real world. This is my animal farm. Slash real farm. Once again, fences all underneath here. It all legitimately made fences underneath every single one of these soil blocks. Come to think of it, I don't know why I have a... Oh, I have an extra button because I made a spotlight early. No, no, stupid button glitch. That happens a lot when I'm recording. I don't know why. Just black, I guess. All you need is two brief places of water, and you get about a stack of wheat. Oh, my up. What? Oh, yeah, water. That sucks. I'll put the hoe in there. So it's... I breed the animals regularly and kill them regularly. So I have fresh animals every time. Uh, what I did to get them down here is I didn't uh, push them down a cave system. Because animals, I learned this from watching Ethos Lab. By the way, a huge shout out to him. If you're watching my video and you haven't seen him already, Ethos Lab is like, I thought about com converting to Ethoism. Because he is just so amazing. But anyway just replant this is kind of boring so bear with me here but i've just been reading up on the wiki and watching videos about brewing and just trying to learn as much about the new ugh, the new updates as possible now they're grouping again there's uh what happens is if there's a baby cow the mama cow and the daddy cow follow the baby cow so the baby cow can go into a pit, and then the mommy cow and the daddy cow will follow it there. Basically what happens, have some meat stuff here, a lot of hoes, your mom, etho joke. Anyway, pot light, workbench, basic, basic stuff. So yeah, just basic little things, help me around my world. Did I just knock that torch off? No, I didn't. Alrighty. Uh, more cave systems. There's a tree farm failed attempt. And let's go down to my... No. This is kind of my obsidian farm. And this is where I found slimes earlier. This thing, I found slimes. I remember because there was a slime right there and he almost fell in lava. And I saved his life and then I killed him for slime balls.
because I needed them to make fire resistant potions. I have some materials in there I need to get. Oh yeah, I've enchanted a lot of tools. I always bring my fortune pickaxe with me in case I find something really valuable like diamonds or gold or iron or not iron really. I don't really care about iron or gold, but if I find diamonds, I always make sure that I have that because it would be nice if I could get two diamonds at once. And then down here, there's also a staircase from up there, but this is the way to my nether portal underneath here. Probably pretty bad at commentating my first try, but I'll probably get better. I mean, I know Etho's first video sucked. He was so nervous, but he's still a genius. Oh, crap. No! Freaking keyboard glitch. Stopping me from going to the nether. Wait. I play on uh, normal or peaceful. I don't play on easy or peaceful because I just yeah was I don't want it to be bad another warp farm I have some I can harvest there we go this is my nether it's my nether warp farm I have my nether house I guarded up my nether portal so I don't get fucked by ghasts I have some nether stone in here this is a really basic house like it has nothing in it oh the roof isn't cobbled Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't know anything about my own world. Uh, glowstone and stuff that I need to harvest. But here is there's another ruin. You can see it. There's a pillar up there that I'm gonna make a ladder for. There's a blaze farm up there. But it's too much work to go and show you guys. I feel lazy now, but it would just be a pain. So, I will end this world tour with a trip back home. See you later, guys.